Hello everyone, welcome to this quick start tutorial for Superbase Edge Functions. Superbase Edge Functions are written in TypeScript, run via Dino and are deployed all around the world with the Superbase CLI. Now let's get started from scratch. If you haven't used the Superbase CLI before, you can install it with brew install superbase uh, slash tab slash superbase. Now I already have it installed. So I will get an error message here. If you have it already installed, do make sure you run brew upgrade superbase uh, just to make sure you have the latest version and you're ready to go. And so now that we have all of that, what we can do is in our project to create a new function, we can simply say superbase functions new hello. And so now we have a new hello function. And because we're living on the edge, let's actually just go ahead and deploy this function. So we can say superbase functions deploy hello. And we will need to specify a project reference if we haven't um, already linked our project. And so we can just go ahead in our dashboard and we can copy out uh, our project reference here from the URL. And now let's set this and we're bundling and we are deployed. Now we can click on the link here to inspect our deployment. And so now you can see here, this is your function called hello. It is active. This is the URL that you can use to call your function. Um, we have created it just now. And um, the region is earth because we're actually deploying it all around the globe on the edge. And then also you get some useful command line uh, hints here for deployment for deletion, and then for secrets to set environment variables, for example, if you want to interact with third party APIs, where you have API secrets, then you can set these to be available in the Dino environment variables. Uh, but now let's actually go ahead and have a look at the code in our function. And so we can open this in VS code here, we see we have a super base folder functions, hello. Uh, and now this is using Dino. So we want to install uh, the Dino extension for VS code. So we can go to the marketplace and install the Dino extension from uh, Dino land. And once we have that installed, we can go and uh, look for the Dino initialize workspace configuration. Uh, we want to enable Dino linting and then also let's enable unstable APIs. And this sets up our settings for Dino. And so now we can see we have um, all our things imported, our function declarations, our types, everything is there. Uh, fabulous. And so here we're just um, specializing uh, here, we're just uh, specifying our uh, function handler, and then we're calling it in surf. And that's all it takes to write a function. And then here we have a little code snippet. So when we um, test the function locally, we can use this, for example, um, of course, we can use the uh, Superbase uh, client SDKs as well. So currently in JavaScript and in the Dart uh, Flutter uh, client libraries, we have the invoke um, methods available to invoke your functions. But you can also just copy out uh, the curl here. And then let's go ahead and actually serve up our function locally. And to do that, we can say superbase functions serve. Hello. And now you will see, okay, we don't have our superbase project initialized yet for local development. So what we need to do is superbase um, in it to initialize our local project. And then if we try to run this again, you will see we don't have uh, the Docker daemon up and running. So actually, in order to run things locally, we will need um, Docker. So let's start um, up our Docker desktop. If you don't have it, um, you can install it. Great. And now our Docker desktop is up and running. And so we can try this again. And you can see, okay, we will need to run Superbase start to start up all our Docker containers. And you can now see that um, we have our things running here in Docker for our project. Uh, we're applying kind of initial migrations. And now you can see our local Superbase stack 
is up and running on localhost uh, 54321. And what's really cool as well, we can uh, we get we get a local version of the Superbase Studio we can interact with. And so we can actually go in here, uh, we can interact with tables and with users and all of that as you used to from the cloud hosted dashboard. So but now we actually want to now serve up our function locally. So let's do that. And now we're seeing the function is being served up. And we actually also have uh, a watcher process. So if we go in here and change this to hello, super, super cool uh, name, and we save that we can see uh, here the file has been uh, changed detected, we're restarting, and we're up and running again. And so now we can simply do our um, curl command. And let's fire that off. And we can see request received. And here we can see we got a 200 OK. And we got a response. Hello, super cool functions. So that's it. That's how quickly you can get started with Superbase functions, uh, developing and testing locally, and then deploying your functions. So now that we have tested everything, we can just go ahead and redeploy our function, Superbase functions, deploy, hello. And we will need our um, project reference. Uh, that's not the project reference. from here. And there we go, bundling hello, and we're deployed again.